dear sisters and brothers in Christ greetings and happy sunday today i would like to reflect on the readings of the 20th sunday of the ordinary time recently the people of india celebrated their independence day the people of india should be proud of their spiritual unity in spite of different languages different cultures different way of thinking people are united they keep up the democracy given to them it is something wonderful the leader of the nation mahatma gandhi in the time of independence in 1947 did not attend any celebrations he did not want any position in the new government formed after the independence he went alone to the ashram to pray for him real freedom is the unity of the people real freedom comes through spiritual oneness that is the message i read from today's readings in the first reading today we read from the book of proverb it speaks about wisdom wisdom is personified wisdom spreads table and invites people to eat and drink and to have unity the real wisdom is the one that brings unity among the people the oneness the oneness could be achieved only through spiritual wisdom in today's gospel we see jesus inviting all the people to eat and drink his body and blood this is also another personification he invites people to share in the same dream that unites people together he wants to unite people for the glory of god the father he wants unite people in spiritual oneness that is very much explained in today's second reading i would like to read the beautiful verse of today's second reading of st paul to the ephesians be filled with the spirit addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and praying to the lord in your hearts giving thanks always and forever in the name of our lord jesus christ to god the father this could be a beautiful explanation for the eucharist we celebrate in the eucharist we celebrate this spiritual oneness we are united as one body by the holy spirit the holy spirit unites us as one body of jesus christ for the glory of god the father dear brothers and sisters that is the message i read in today's readings spiritual oneness could only give us freedom for us freedom means not the independent attitude freedom is that one helps us to see the oneness of ourselves with other people and to bring the whole world together the whole world becomes the eucharistic table and all the good efforts of human persons for a better life are bread and wine we offer this bread and wine to god the father and ask him 
to transform this into the body of Christ. That means he has to bring everything into unity. That unity would bring real happiness in human life and that unity will achieve eternal life forever. That is the wisdom of Jesus Christ. So in Eucharist. So let us thank God for the gift of this wisdom. And let us celebrate the Eucharist. Let us contemplate the Eucharist. Let us see the whole world in Eucharistic eyes. Thank you.